So guys, ignore the mess in the background. I'm actually about to shoot another video on <laughs> modifying a watch um, with different things. So just ignore all that. So I'm back again with the Ashray drama of my retrofit, future fit from an older car into my car. Now my car came with just a hole in the cubby ho in the console for my BMW 3 uh, 35i. And there's a retrofit you could do, but it's a future fit because it's an older technology that BMW stripped off, off of the car after 2009. So I was in the process of doing this last weekend when uh, drama happened. Now the drama was I went out to sort of do this retrofit. You need to buy an ashtray from an older BMW car and you get one of these online. I bought this on eBay for $25 about three weeks ago, two weeks ago. And I attempted to do this last weekend. And this unbeknownst to me, even after reading the write-ups on the forums and how to do this modification, didn't realize how over-engineered this simple ashtray is. It's an ashtray that goes into a BMW 3 Series from 2005 to 2008. And it is the most complicated thing I've ever seen in my life. And simple ashtray, the lighter elements there, you put your ashes in there. And that's it. That's it. I think you could use this as a 12 volt socket if you want to charge your cell phone. And it has an LED ambient light, which if you're buying one of these um, from eBay or used, you could just basically transport this. If you have a 2009, 2010 and 11, 12 and 13 uh, for the coupes and convertible, you could rip this off and put this into your car. Just tap it into whatever gray with a red stripe and brown wire or is that red with a gray stripe i think it's gray with a red stripe and a brown for ground so you tap this in and you can put this into your new uh sunglass cubby tray and you get the nice led ambient bmw glow right there to match up with the rest of your car now in doing this project last week and on camera it was all candid you guys saw my mishap i assumed like most people would, even after reading the write-ups, like I said, that this ashtray, basically, I'm sorry, when you buy this, all you need is, before I even explain what, what my drama there, all you need from that is this, right, to put on your new piece. The piece I purchased was from ECS Tune-In, and that's the parts number there, you can pause the video, I'm not even going to read that out. And I bought this from a really good, oh, wow. BMW Group, blah, 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 blah. Pause the video there. So I bought it from a really great website, ECS TuneIn, right there. I did the unboxing uh, two weeks ago, I believe, on YouTube. And this was $25 for this. And um, the prices in EC ECS TuneIn, I realized, goes up and down. It's like, sort of like Amazon. If you have stuff in your cart for a long period of time, you realize that sometimes the prices are, are lower, sometimes they're higher. But I um, believe this is now like $27 or $28, but it's going to be between $22 and $30, I guess, for this piece. So all it is is a cubby hole that you can put your stuff in. It fits keys, um, small cell phone, sunglasses, um, coins, money, wallets. And it's what you want, and it closes. has a nice close, closing lid. Now, with this, the way it's sold, it doesn't have the trim on there. And if you have a silver trim, a wood trim, whatever you have in your car, carbon fiber, basically, you could just transplant the lid from an ashtray, a car that came in an ashtray, onto this. So, it goes on real simple like that. Now, seeing the pictures online, I thought it was that easy. Buy that uh, part and then buy an ashtray from a BMW car. $25 and then it was $25, $50 for this, you know, not bad. It gives me a little privacy, it upscales the car a little bit. Instead of just having a big hole in the car, crater in the console. So I got this and I was attempting to take the wooden piece off. And I just assumed it's just a wooden trim on the plastic lid and that's it. So I started a prize, you guys saw in my last video and this came off, it flew off. Uh, or broke off rather and it chipped both ends where I was prying. Now the write-ups you all see will tell you there is a little slit right on opposite ends of these that you put your butter knife in or pry tool in there and you pry up. Now the wood when it was on it was seamless. I didn't realize it's a wood trim and this is not even one piece. This is a thin sheet of what looks like a laminate wood 
aluminum trim there and it's all metal underneath so it's like a metal sheet aluminum sheet like a wood trim there and then you have that little trim there and then below that you have two layers of plastic and that's just the lid for the ashtray alone so now what I was doing I was prying here up like that when I should have been prying the anchor plastic underneath now what you want to do is just stick your pry tool in there and slide it I'm gonna just do it real quick in front of you so it's gonna be a little slot there but you want to be between the plastics not between the wood and the plastic so I'm just gonna pry up and the clips on this is very sturdy I did this a couple of times and didn't break any clip and this this one came out of an older car this came out of uh, I believe a 2006 or 2005 so it is really sorry I got dark why did it get dark easy to pry that off and there you go voila it's off now this anchor is in there with one two three four five clips and this is just a plastic trim so you have the the spring lid there this plastic and then you have you have like three layers for the ashtray lid which is just crazy over engineering now so you have that and then this thing actually the way this anchors in there it slides over everything there so it's like a little lip in there and that slides over that groove there I don't know if you can see okay so it slides down like that locks into place and then you fold it and then you clip that into place like that and that's that's your ashtray so I didn't realize BMW over engineered it so this is pretty much junk I may actually salvage the wiring for different things in the car now <clears throat> once you get to this phase <laughs> this is what you which I would have gotten had I done it correctly so this I got from eBay I had to buy this over again and I was really nice to the guy he wanted forty dollars for this and just I bought it just like this I didn't buy it with the ashtray or nothing like that and I wrote him I said listen I'm the guy from YouTube I messed this up I'm trying to do this project and uh, best offer give me twenty five dollars and he reduced the price from forty to twenty five so it's kind of cool of him um, I should shout out his uh, I should, I should shout him out because he hooked me up I don't know is it on here somewhere no <laughs> Sorry, guy. I'll, I'll put the thing in the description below, um, the seller, because he's really cool. So, you got your new part, and this is what you do to put the wood trim on. So, once you get the wood trim off, and it's nice and clean. And, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. That's two different shades of brown. Holy snap. Well, I didn't even take this to the car yet, so I'm praying that this would match up with the, with the brown console. Did BMW make different types of wood? Not sure. That's strange. Just realized that. So, you want to start with the lid up like that. Good, good. And then you slide this piece down. So, like I said, that lip goes over this. Now, you don't want to scratch anything. I'm doing this inside and not in the car. Actually, I'm not even going to go back to the car with this for the video. I already shot enough video of this thing. And this should have taken me like, I don't know, under 10 minutes to do, but... I got the little hiccups with the over engineering of the ashtray lid. Who's gonna expect that? You know, who's gonna really expect that? So I'm trying to get this over the lip. And okay, so it's over the lip. And you will get a little bit of grease on the top there because this is grease, that latch there. I'm just going to clip that into place and voila. Make sure that's closed. That seam there is one. And this goes into the car later on to maybe tomorrow morning. Right now it's, it's really late. It's almost 11. It's my Seiko 5 there. So put this in the car in the morning. Maybe I'll do another um, video or whatever. But that's it guys, that's how you do this modification. Ashtray lids are apparently all really over engineered at the BMW plant, so. And that's it, and you have your nice um, cubby holder pocket. So it makes your car looks nice. You can put valuables in there without people being able to see and rob you. That's it guys, bye. So what's up guys? Um, 
finally got it installed I figured I'll just show you guys might as well complete the journey I've started with but you guys that's been um, following this video now it was really easy to do actually the third time I removed this in the last video I removed this it was super easy to do because once you remove it the first time I don't know if every consecutive time becomes easier and easier with the clips it just literally pulls right out all I needed was was a trim holder and I pried it up basic trim you could use a butter knife or a flathead screwdriver but this is a plastic and it won't scratch the wood so it came right up I didn't even remove the shifter with the shifter still on there I just pulled this up and just um, sort of pulled everything over that so that's really easy to do and the wood trim actually looks really good now it's funny enough that this wood trim is lighter than the other wood trim that I chipped and from that came from the ashtray so this actually I don't know if you could see it matches the wood trim in my car a little bit better um, than the, the darker one so I don't know why that is but anyway that's it it's installed um, it's very smooth it's functional it actually makes the car look a lot more um, high-end I have no idea why BMW got rid of this for the 2009 3 series onward in the for the E90 so here's my glasses could hold my glasses and um, sunshades it's a sunshade pocket so it holds sunglasses as well and I have keys so if I'm driving I just want to put my keys in there I don't normally do that but it holds keys and valuables inside of that and no one's gonna um, see it from outside the car with just a hole there where it was, like it was before that pocket anyone can easily look in your car and see what's in there so this it adds a touch of class and a touch of privacy to your car as well as security because no one's gonna be um, able to see what's in there from outside the car and most likely people might think it's an ashtray if they are familiar with the e90 and no one's gonna go searching an ashtray for money or, or valuables and that's it that's the um, sunglasses uh, modification of this sunglass holder modification or it's called the Astra delete if you have a pre pre 2009 3 series e90 you delete the ashtray and you put this there if you have a post 2009 2012 or 13 e90 then e91 e92 coupes in convertible then this is gonna be um, I guess a hole in your console retrofit to a sunglass holder with a lid so that's what I did I retrofitted this to cut, um, replace the sort of the pocket hole that was there the crater is what I call it so it looks good um, that's it guys um, gonna drive off now enjoy the weekend talk to you guys later bye